Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Anotrak and we are playing Europa Universalis 4 with the newest DLC Golden Century. Welcome back to our Venice playthrough. So, new recording session. Um, how are things looking? Well, I've activated all the policies now. I've made a point of activating all the policies that give me trade uh, efficiency. Oh, I should go with production efficiency too, just to see how much money we can actually pull. Uh, I would like to have a couple more diplomatic policies, but there's nothing much that I can do. I've enacted all government reforms. I could maybe do something like this. Office selection, extended suffrage. No, this is kind of fine. Landholders versus army morale. Yeah, diplomatic possible policies. Maybe we'll go with this to have the trade power boost too. I don't think we're profiting all that much from the idea cost and institution spread. In fact, we do not profit from that at all. So let's just let's just switch that. What is it? Guiding principles of administration. So go moral principle. <laughs> sure. Add ten corruption. Whatever. We will buy it down. This is fine. We'll even have like uh yeah we're ahead of time positive stability rooting out corruption. That's fine. We're gonna make a lot of money here. Um, and then let's go ahead and add an additional dipo policy. So income from vassals not as important. Ah, uh, current power and having an additional merchant might actually be what we want here. Uh, but then again, like giving our ships plus forty percent trade power is massive. I'd say. That's really massive. So let's do this. With one additional merchant, where are we gonna put that merchant? We have merchants here, here. We don't have one in Venice proper. Collect from your trade. We'll use the trade power to draw income. Your capital permanently collects trade. Sending a merchant will improve the trade power. You can collect from trade in any other note, but as long as... Only as your merchant is present. If the merchant is recalled, the note will only transfer power. I think there was something about the trade power share. I think you like get some uh, no transfer bonus due to merchant collecting in Genoa. So yeah, we might as well send someone to collect in Venice too to get that additional um, bonus in money that we can get from it. For where to collect only in Venice, uh, it's just like there's no point considering there is like a hundred in here and we really want that but look at that like venice is at 662 power uh 662 value whereas the, <laughs> the english channel is only 300 so yeah they're getting some from the americas for now um but it's gonna be it's gonna be less and less uh i like it i've given i've given all these provinces over here to venetian alaska which we probably should rename um, so yeah, let's customize subject. So you're gonna be, it's just gonna be Alaska. I think that, that fits better. It's just Alaska. That's, that's, that's fine. A Catholic Republic under a doge in the new world. That's just, <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> Um, I actually, I, I want to ally Poland here. So listen, Poland, we've always been good friends until Russia forced you to break your alliance with me. How about we become friends again? Yeah. So, we'll do that. And now, I think we'll go to war against Russia. Um, what I've done is, I, since all these, all these marches that we have are now small enough to be proper marches, I've activated these send officers which gives them um, 5% discipline, 20% army morale. And I've also activated subsidized armies. So uh, we subsidize people with 1,248 manpower. We still gain enough, but we're at the max, so it doesn't really matter. We're like 2k away from the max. Not a problem, but this will make our vassals a lot more deadly. And I think what we'll do is we'll just like declare on Russia here. I think they need it. I think they've really, I've, I've had it with them. Poland's gonna come in. Austria is in debt. Would we'll destabilize them. Okay, well, Austria, you can just bow out, I guess. So we'll go imperialism. Allied with Denmark, Genoa, and Persia. Persia's gonna come in. They're all gonna come in. 
Well, uh, I think this is fine. I think this is fine. We'll call, we'll call him Poland. Um, we'll just let our let our hordes take over. Let's do it. I just want to see the vassal swarm. Like we, we've won this game. Like completely. That's like a full win. Um, is this the capital of Genoa? It is. Okay. <laughs> sure, Genoa. That's that's fine, I guess. Okay, so we gotta we gotta send one army. Who has the biggest army of my vassals? The knights? No, it's Florence. Kill us in Florence. You're gonna be aggressive. And hunt the other guys down. I will go ahead and send Aztecs. Um oh, damn it, okay, I have to select them from here. Aztecs. We're gonna subsidize them. I can't really do much, but they need the subsidies to just stay alive. How's the income situation of my other vassals? So Terranova is making 289. Venetian Alaska is making a lot because of the subsidies. Um, Naples making 20. Caravan is making 5. These guys are making 15. Byzantium is in, is in debt. So I feel like we gotta actually go ahead and like do a lot more subsidies. We're making so much money. Why not subsidize our vassals? Really allow them to go all out. Okay, and we'll give the knights. A hundred. I wish there was a way to improve the fighting stats. Of my vassals too. That doesn't look good. What the hell? Well, you're gonna you're gonna die to the to the combined fleets of my vassals. Yeah. Ah, they don't have a lot of heavies. I don't like it. Why is no one building galleys, guys? Really? We're gonna lose. We're gonna lose to Genoa. That's weird. Send some ships in, I guess. Yeah, these guys have rebels. Deal with them, boys. Oh, were they were they so out of money that they didn't have any troops? Really? Odd. No. There, there are 40k Aztec troops over here. All right then. So who still needs money? Naples, I think, still needs subsidies. Yeah. Um, Florence could definitely use some subsidies. Yeah. Poland, I feel, could use some subsidies. What's in Poland? Win this war. Build more troops. At them. Uh, and Caraman, I think, could use subsidies. I mean, are, we still, are we subsidizing Caraman already? No. Okay, let's go. So, subsidies for Caraman. That allow them to build mercs or whatever. It's fine. Okay, so we're, like, we're fighting these fleets and we're actually winning. This is good. Um, this is all trade ships. They're still winning against the galleys for some reason. Okay, here the Russian fleet got defeated. Uh, we're stitching things down there. No Russian armies in sight as of yet. Okay, that's the Genoese fleet being soundly defeated here. Okay, captured two ships. Okay, won a battle. We're gonna probably like send these guys in there too. Let's go maybe do some sieging here with these guys. It's at least a decent army, right? 
Uh, withdraw from public life, whatever. So why why is Florence not like on the attack? I guess I gotta set them to all to siege. Come on, get cracking, Florence. I want to see you over there in Russia. I really wish I could pull Austria in. I'm gonna ask for military access, so my vassals have it. Maybe that's what's stopping them. I have no idea. Oh look, Poland is building new troops. That must be the money kicking in that I'm sending them. I hope. I think. I'll try to give as much land as possible to Poland. That's the Danish Baltic. That's an abomination. I mean, it's good for Denmark, but... It's an abomination for any right-thinking Venetian. We, do we need to engage with these guys? If we can if we can set them running now, I kind of feel like it has a knock-on effect. I'm not sure if any of the AIs are going to engage them. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll leave my maybe I'll leave my vassals to siege, just run up here. Go at them. Actually, I have a lot of army tradition. I could probably still pull another general. Ah, uh, he's not great, but... I yeah, no, this guy's actually... Well, no. Maneuver's really good on this dude. Okay, so Florence is on the move now. All my vassals are on the move. That's good. Caravan for some reason was white uh, was black flagged. I have no idea how that works. Ah, uh, we'll get him. We'll join Poland here. Get him, boys. Show those Danes who's boss. Yep. Just a level one fort. I would like to pull Lithuania into this too. I would have actually been a good idea, but they're already in another war, so I don't think they're really interested. France wants military access. Listen, France, we were at war very recently, and I don't think I don't think like military access is the right move right now. I kind of want to keep our relationship a little bit more non-committal, you know. It's just like don't take it the wrong way. Could still be friends, theoretically, but... Uh, I mean, we're already here. Might as well... Might as well go and siege things down further. Maybe just, like, force Denmark out. Are you Italian revolutionaries? What the heck? Ah, oh, no, they're just marching through. That's fine. Oh, we won this battle, inadvertently. Apparently huge fleets of light ships can definitely hold their own. Against... Uh, against bigger ones. Oh man, these guys are still having a really rough time. We should probably commit our... Our guys need to convert more. Like we made them Catholic, and I recognize that that is something that uh, really hurts them. I understand. I totally understand. Land war in Russia. That's that's the best thing. Sure. Okay, we destroyed a Danish fleet. These guys are doing work. Holy hell! What are you doing? Why are you... what? I mean, I'll help you. I'll fight down your rebellions, sure. 
lost the Siege of Mosul. Oh, that's a Genoese army. Well, I can't do more than diverting all my all my stuff towards them. We're making 1,500 in trade income now. Look at that. We're also paying out 830 in subsidies, but that's totally worth it. So military power is maxed now. There's no way we can get this. Um, guess we'll just do some development then. Right? Um, yeah, sure. So we'll sort by we'll sort by cost. All right, that should be fine. <coughs> Warriors do not read books. We, lead, we lose stability. Holy hell. These guys did something that really upset people here. I, like, I feel like we, these guys are very unhappy for some reason. Maybe they're actually over 100% overextended. Something, something's not going right here. What the fuck? Maybe their doomsday happened. Maybe these guys don't make such great vassals. Now that I come to think of it. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Um, I mean, I could probably just put these guys on autonomous rebel suppression. Um... We'll just do we'll just do autonomous rebel suppression here in this whole area. See, this is how it's done. This is a pretty easy to use interface. Um, very fine. I like it. And yeah, I think I think this is okay. Whereas the trade company thing is just an unholy, ungodly mess. Okay, suppressing rebels, avoiding strong enemy. Where, which strong enemies? Yo, dude, if you, yeah, okay, stop the autonomous rebel suppression. If you're just gonna blaze around, cause strong enemy and stuff, just go away then. I'm not interested in that. <laughs> yeah, would you look at that? These guys are not having fun at all. They're just being eaten into. Ooh, look at that. Poland giving as good as they get. Want to loot Polotsk? Do we want to let our mercenaries like commit some atrocities? Sure. Have fun. And there's the Alaska treasure fleet. Awesome. Okay, I guess we'll... I mean, these guys have an army. They have subsidies. They can totally fight this down. I just don't want them to, like, have any defectors. That would annoy me, because I fought for this land. Well, somewhat. Mainly Venetian Alaska fought for it. Which is just now called Alaska. That's fine. Still, they still see their descent in their flag. Oh man. <laughs> that was pretty funny. What? With separatists in Canton, which are now dealt with. Okay, very good. Canton Corps. Still doing work. We're mainly fighting Russia here. Oh wait, so there's a. Where are you fleeing to? Uh, I guess we gotta go for Novgorod. We also we already took their capital. That's pretty funny. If I ask Sweden for military access, I would probably say yes. So that will allow my subjects all to run into Denmark if they want to. Should they be so inclined? 
Come on. Fort in Vilna has never stood so long. Just make it happen, buddy. Okay, just dealing with rebels 24-7. This is fine. If this game were to go on any longer, I would definitely build forts here in their, in their lands, but I, I just can't be asked, I don't think. Or can I? This is Francien. Yeah, this is all French. God damn it. Won the Siege of Vilna, finally. Very good. I like it. I think we should... Well, are there any more forts in Russia? Yeah, it looks like forts are getting kind of scarce. There are Persian troops down here. Uh, there's also a bit of a problem with Genoa. So listen, Genoa. We'll just, like, give Skio. And this one to Byzantium. Yeah, right. And then you're out. So this is happening. Russian fleet is getting destroyed. We won. Very nice. Yes, flood them. That's also what I do whenever I like reform the the HRE. I just let my vassals go on a crazy spree. Watch down here to Krakow. Catch these guys. They are like look like mischief. I don't want them here. Oh, you you're running away. You don't want to play anymore. Don't think it's funny to beat up Poland. Really? can hardly believe that. Come on. I still want to play. You're not allowed to go. It's actually one of the major things about... Uh, having an AI opponent. That is so great about the AI. Uh, which hardly ever gets mentioned. It's the fact that the AI never gets tired of getting beaten up. It just doesn't care. It's an AI. And that's great. If you, if you play a bit more um, Paradox games in multiplayer... You'll notice there are ungodly amounts of salt <laughs> out there. <laughs> I've been both on the receiving end of the salt and on the uh, on the delivering end of the salt, and uh, yeah, <laughs> just salt all around. Uh, I mean, it's it's just because like sometimes things are just binary, right? Sometimes if one player wins, the other has to lose. Oh, it's just annoying. Okay, Denmark really thinks it can, like, do some... Do some stuff here. Uh, what? Yeah, I want the war fleet and the eastern fleet to be merged. So now this is the war fleet per se. We'll get an admiral. And we'll send this war fleet into Denmark. That's just how we roll. Danish war fleet. So we'll, have, we'll stop the Danes from hiding out on their island over here. We're gonna get you for real, Denmark. Oh man. <laughs> Why is Byzantium over here? Is what I wanna know. And they're doing good work. Like, those those couple of Byzant Byzantines, they're fighting down, like, people with way more strength than them. Hey, Alaska! You're having some Californian separatists. Maybe move your ass and... Yeah, okay. Or just wait until they give you the separatism in the province. That's fine, too. We lost the siege of Kazan. So now the Russian army has arrived. I hope that I can throw my, throw my troops into the fight soon. All right, listen. Why can't these guys just march past... Oh yeah, right, okay. Because they own the fort. That's that's true. Ooh, we lost the battle in the Aegean Sea. Well, my fleet's coming. 
I think we've got a clean house here in the Mediterranean first. Do you guys have that rebellion in hand? Yeah, you do. That's well, fine. Competent vassals, for the most part. So I'll try to catch these Russian armies apart from each other. Uh, looks like I'm almost succeeding here. Yeah, okay, get wrecked. Ooh. Oh man, that's... That's gnarly. Austria lost the HRE uh, Emperorship. Holy hell. Why did that happen? Why did that happen? That is like... Ferdinand III von Habsburg. So they, they were just not interested in, in electing Ferdinand? He's like an 18-year-old von Habsburg. Why are you not... What? Is he, is he Protestant? No, Catholic. Guess they just didn't want uh, an Austrian emperor anymore. And since Brandenburg stayed Catholic, they have no problem electing Brandenburg. That is kind of scary, actually. <laughs> that is kind of scary. I think Brandenburg in... Oh, Denmark. Yeah, sure. Come on, let's dance, buddy. Where's the Russian fleet going from here? Uh, do they have any ports left? They have this port. Okay, we lost some claims. Not that I care too much. Let's take out those 18k. On the siege of Colding now. Uh, as soon as my ships are up here, you guys can forget about blockading this strait. And yeah, just not gonna have a lot of fun there. Okay. And then I, I guess I kind of should uh, try to reinforce a little bit with these guys. Okay, we have more rebels popping up. Okay, Byzantine Corps doing some work. So every decent soldier needs food, a weapon or two, clothes and other kinds of equipment to perform their best for the land who orders them around. Aztec knows the limitations in providing these things for the soldiers they can enlist. And have asked that we send them a little something to help them to take care of the manpower we subsidize for them. So more soldiers and gold. So I can send either or both. Yeah, here, yeah, sure. Why not? It's fine. Do they have any more forts? Yeah, they have that fourth in Slotust. Let's go down here then. We have a wall breach. I can't, like, go for the barricade. I don't have enough cannons to really do that siege effectively. That's the long and the short of it. Hmm. Do they really need me to blockade this? I mean, I should probably take care of the Russian fleet here, but I would also like to go after the Danish. Here, yeah, Poland is going after the Danish. I like it. Come on, Poland. You can totally take these guys. Take them back. Look at that. Russia back here in Podolia and Lvov. Right. Okay. Let's, let's convert this place. And then I guess we've got to help our subjects further. Just converting things. Mm, there's still true problems down here south, I guess. I mean, main mainland Russia. 
doesn't look too hot at this point. Byzantium. Less than Russia. Whoa, no. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to go against two armies. That is maybe a little bit too hefty. I mean, maybe these guys will come in. Maybe not. Can I catch them? Put that stuff in the treasury. Uh, can we get out? No, okay, we gotta send fight. Okay, yeah, that's impossible. Oh, we're not gonna survive this one. Um, okay, we're, we're retreat to Moskva. That is. Something that probably had to happen. How How is the balance of power in this war? Yeah, I mean, Russia has 450,000 land troops. The thing is, they almost have no cannons. I have way more cannons than them, and the others have even less. Dan Denmark is, like, gone. That's the Danish fleet. All of it. Are you fighting Denmark? Really? Swedish-Danish nationalist war. Ooh, bad times for you, Denmark. Bad, bad times. I like it. I should probably either force them to, like, release some stuff or do other things that are unpleasant for them. I don't know, but I guess I'm going to decide in the next episode. We still have a good nine years to play, and I definitely intend to play them. And then we'll still have the the timeline that we can look at, so that's going to be interesting. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you join me for the next episode. Thanks. Bye-bye.